Welcome. Today I bring you the preview of the next chapter of The Ambassador's Daughter. Elvon apologizes to Nair. But she tells him that the culprit was Yaya and that she should not be ashamed of what others do. She also comments that she wants to go to Switzerland as soon as possible and leave everything behind. But for that to happen she must first gain custody of Melek. Elvon says that there are only a few days left to get custody and then she can leave. Nair says that she can't stay in that house until she leaves for Switzerland. Since those taking care of her are people hired by Geddes and she can't run from one to the other to protect herself. Elvon complains that they couldn't take care of her at home and asks her what she plans to do. Nair answers that she will go back to the mansion. So Elvon is surprised. Nair tells him that she will be fine and that he just has to be patient for a few more days. Plus as soon as he has custody they won't see her again. Elvon then asks her why she wanted to escape to finally return. Nair says that Geddes ruined everything and now they must act carefully so that the two of them don't make enemies. He says that Sanjar must be very affected by Yaya's betrayal and that if he finds out about Geddes everything will get worse. Elvon answers that if she wants that then they will return to the mansion. But that they must teach Sanjar a lesson. Nair says that they must convince him that Geddes said nothing and that now Sanjar needs to keep his daughter close, since almost all his loved ones have betrayed him. At night, frightened Manek keeps calling Loki, but he doesn't answer her calls. So with anguish she says that Loki must have told everything to Sanjar. But Atik says that as Loki is in love with her he won't dare to do anything. But Manek doesn't believe it. At that moment they hear Elvon arriving singing so they go out to see what is happening. Elvon happily announces Nair's arrival to the mansion. So everyone gets tense. Halise scolds them for causing trouble by running away all day. Zara asks her to calm down and let Nair rest. As her wound has been hurting her. Minek enraged starts yelling against Nair, angry that she has returned, saying that she has not been able to get rid of her and that she still wants to live with a married man. Melek is furious and yells at her not to talk to her mother like that. Nair asks Melek to go with Zara to see Kavarek. They leave. So Minek complains that now Nair rules the house as if she is the owner and that she has not even asked her if she wants her there or not. Halise calls her attention. And as soon as Melek leaves Nair warns Manek not to talk like that in front of her daughter again and to stop insinuating that she wants something with Sanjar. Angry Manek keeps yelling for Sanjar. So angry Nair tries to lash out at her but Elvon interferes to avoid a fight. Then tells Manek that she should go ask Sanjar why he doesn't love her, instead of yelling at Nair, enraged Manek leaves. So Nair claims Elvon for talking to Manek like that. Elvon tells her that she shouldn't put up with Manek and that he just sent her to her husband. Minek angrily says she is going to give Melek to a kin. Meanwhile Nair goes to see Kavarek. Halise goes with them and scolds them for all the trouble they have been causing. Warning them about Sanjar's wrath. Then sends Zara and Elvan to the kitchen. And asks Nair to rest. She also tells Kavarek that he should start working and planning the wedding. Halise leaves. So Nair asks to Kavarek about the wedding. But Kavarek deflects the topic and asks her not to leave Sanjar. She asks him what he wants her to do with a man who threw her out and married another woman. And that even if she decided not to go to Switzerland she can't stay in that house as Sanjar's mistress. Kavarek tells her that she doesn't need to be a mistress, but that Sanjar suffers a lot and needs her, so even if there can't be love, at least offer her friendship. Nair tells him what happened with Geddes. At that moment they hear Sanjar arrive in anger looking for Elvon, so Nair gets up. Kavarek asks her to be careful. But Nair leaves the room. Golsier tells her that Sanjar fired Hassan because she escaped. So Nair says she is going to fix it and goes upstairs carefully. Where she sees Sanjar breaking everything, Nair enters. So Sanjar thinking it is Elvon asks her where Nair is. Nair asks him about Hassan's firing. Sanjar surprised asks her if she didn't leave. Nair replies yes he did. So Sanjar happy says she still came back. Then upset remembering Geddes, he asks her why she came back and if Geddes said anything to her. Nair says yes. So Sanjar asks her how she felt. Nair replies that it didn't hurt her as much as it should have hurt him, since in the end Yaya is his brother and has betrayed him. Sanjar asks him if Geddes told him then about Yaya. Nair says yes and asks him if there is anything else he should have told him. He also comments that he wasn't surprised that Yaya did that since it's not the first time he hurts her. They both start organizing everything Sanjar threw away. 
Sanjar asks her why she came back, but Nair doesn't answer and scolds him for not having the bandage on his shoulder. Sanjar makes fun of her being grumpy. Nair says he should be thankful that he didn't marry her, but Sanjar says he did. Geddes arrives home. So Moog angrily greets him claiming him for not answering his calls and for taking Nair away. Saying Sanjar is like crazy looking for him. Geddes angrily yells at him. So Moog asks him if he revealed his feelings to Nair. Geddes replies yes. Moog says he has now received an answer that hurt him and they didn't expect Nair to reciprocate anyway. Geddes says that he didn't expect any of that and that he even risked their friendship being broken but complains that Nair even in rejecting him kept talking about Sanjar and that he left after saying he wouldn't make them enemies. Moog says that Nair is right. And that is that Sanjar shouldn't find out what he did. Geddes gets upset that everyone is talking to him about Sanjar and says that even though Sanjar doesn't know he will tell him everything, Moog angrily tells him that he is crazy and that if he does their business and friendship between families will be broken, Rafika who has heard everything shouts that they are not going to become enemies as that fraternity was not built easily and he is no one to break it for a woman. Then Geddes throws in her face that she betrayed the Ephigalus by taking their money and property, and that when she did that she did not think about the fraternity. Mook says that is why he must make a decision, whether to betray the Ephigalus like his father or whether he will give his life for them like Burhan. Geddes replies that he is not going to do any of that as he does not have to follow the path of others, but will create his own. Sanjar asks Nair why she came back if she was already free from the confinement he subjected her to. Nair replies that she will anyway get rid of him when she goes to Switzerland, but that she wanted to come back because he has been betrayed by his family and this is why she did not want to leave him alone. As she knows how it feels. Sanjar says that when she leaves he will be alone anyway, but Nair says no since he can see Melek, but Sanjar says that the one he wants close is her. But Nair says that she does not want to stay close to him or become his lover. Sanjar says that at least they could be friends, but Nair refuses. Sanjar says that he has hurt her a lot but that she has come back not to leave him alone in spite of Menix's presence, and that in spite of everything she has shown him mercy even though he doesn't deserve it. So the real reason she came back with him is because she loves him, but Nair uncomfortable just tells him not to destroy that room again. Then they talk about the story of his grandfather. Sanjar says that his grandfather threw himself off a cliff and that 100 years later she did it too. And that just like his grandfather she is in that place recovering from her wounds, so she shouldn't go or leave him. Nair silences him. Sanjar kisses her hand. At that moment Melek arrives and claims them since two women can't be in the life of a man. Sanjar says that since the beginning there has been only one woman and that it will be like that until he dies. Sanjar leaves and sadly sees Menix's room while remembering Nair. Loki arrives at the mansion with Nekdet, threatening that if Menek doesn't go to see him he will tell everything to Sanjar. So Nekdet enters the house and sees Sanjar sad sitting on the stairs so he asks him what is wrong. So Sanjar yells at him to leave. Nekdet runs into Menix's room. When she sees him she asks him scared if he has seen Loki. Nekdet tells her that he has and that he is very tense. Atik scared asks him if Loki said something to him. So Nekdet answers that Loki told him that now Manek is a mafioso who plans to kidnap a girl and angrily asks Manek what she is doing and if she wants them to be kicked out of there, when she is living in luxury and he is constantly receiving money from Sanjar. Plus she is the one who will give birth to the heir of the Ifiolu family. Menek angrily asks her where Loki is. Nekdet says he is outside and if he doesn't go in 10 minutes he will tell everything to Sanjar. So frightened Menek tries to go to see him. But Nekdet stops her and tells her that Sanjar is right outside in a rage. And asks her what she will do, since she can't go out. Loki waits for Menek in the stable while Sanjar is on the stairs. Menek looks outside and seeing Sanjar closes the door. The 10 minutes pass so Loki leaves. Elvon comes up with food so Zara seeing her asks if it's for Kavarik and tries to take the tray. But Elvon tells her it's not for Kavarik but for Nair. When he goes to climb the stairs he sees Sanjar so he gets angry. Sanjar says he understands his grudge but he should be careful what he says. But Elvon tells him he's the one who should be careful as instead of being in Nair's room he should go to his wife. Nekdet comes out to distract Sanjar. Zara and Elvon talk angrily about how Sanjar should have thought well before throwing Nair out. So Sanjar becomes furious and yells at Elvon. So she yells back and enters Nair's room. 
Sanjar sees Zara and then notices Nekdet so angrily throws him out. Minek takes advantage of the distraction to leave by stealth. At the entrance she meets Loki. He angrily drags her out saying that he was going to talk to Sanjar. She asks him not to do anything. But Loki claims her for giving him to Karaman as soon as she had the chance. He takes out a dagger and asks if he should stab her or give her to Sanjar so he can kill her, claiming her for abandoning him. Minek remembers the conversation she had with Karaman, where he gave her instructions to manipulate Loki and make him not to say anything to Sanjar. Then Minek uses Loki's love for her to manipulate him saying that she wants to go with him. Loki accepts excited and they plan to run away together the next day, while Minek smiles knowing that the plan has worked and that now it is Karaman who will take care of the rest. And so we end this preview, until next time.